Well, good evening. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the annual award ceremony for obviously for our current pupils. It's uh, such a shame that we can't see you in person to give these worthy recipients the obviously the awards that they so thoroughly deserve. Evenings like this are a great pleasure for myself. I often mention in open evenings that the Estin reports that come out of the school. Obviously, they comment on the fantastic results in the school, but the most, the highest priority they give us is our extracurricular and the things that people, the opportunities that people are given and the way that they throw themselves into everything across the board and, des and deserve this fantastic recognition in so many different aspects of, of school life. So obviously I'd like you to sit back and enjoy the virtual evening. I know lots of staff are going to speak highly of the, of the pupils who've received the awards. Um, so fantastic and congratulations to you all. Hello and welcome to the sports section of the 2020 School Awards. Our first award today is for under 16 Welsh archery representation. Megan has represented Wales in archery for several years now and this year she obtained an under 14 gold medal making her Welsh champion. She also achieved a new Welsh record under 14 and under 16, which is a fantastic achievement. Many congratulations to Megan Neve. For the athletics category, under 13's Ava Nathan Towie indoor athletics representation, Chloe Lewis, Ewan Clark, Leander Royce, and Zoe Stevens. Moving on to the Cricket Awards, uh, the first award this evening is for Under 13's Welsh Cricket representation and receiving these awards are Benjamin Croydon and Malay Chandranoan. Receiving the awards for the Under 15's West Glamorgan Cricket representation are Ben Lloyd, George John, Ewa Blank and Jaden Patel. Receiving the awards for the Under 14's West Glamorgan Cricket uh, Benjamin Croydon and Harry Wright. This award is for Avanith Towie County Cross Country Representation. It was a bright sunny day of racing in a very picturesque Margan Park last February, where over 1,100 pupils from all across Avanith Towie and Glamorgan Valleys competed in numerous exciting and busy races. For some of our athletes, it was the first time they had competed in a race of this scale. Only the top 12 in each age group were selected to represent Avanith Tawi, and we had several athletes selected on the day from every age group. The pupils went on to represent Avanith Tawi at the Welsh Schools Championships in Brecon on March the 12th. An ach amazing achievement. Many congratulations go to Matthew Lewis, Sophie Hartley-Green, Chloe Lewis, Evan Morris and Anna Williams. West Wales Cross Country Representation. Two of our athletes were successfully selected to represent West Wales as a result of their achievements in the county competitions. Both girls are committed runners and train during all weathers and conditions. Chloe went on to compete in the British Cross Country Championships in Loughborough, a fantastic achievement. Many congratulations to both Sophie Hartley-Green and Chloe Lewis. Under 16, Welsh representation. This young man is a very highly rated player within Swansea City setup. At only 15, he's represented the under 18s on several occasions. This is a big step up physically, not one that many could make. He has been heavily involved with the Welsh setup over the last few years, playing across Europe in the UEFA Development Tournament. Ben's a hum humble young man with great character that has led him to captain his country, in massive honour, which we all should be very proud. Ben Lloyd, Wales under 16 representation. Swansea Schoolboys football representation. Under 15, Jasper Payne. Under 13, Oliver Anderson. This next award is for the Swansea School Girls football representation. At Bishopstone, we have a talented group of female footballers ranging from the under 12s to under 15s who have achieved Swansea School Girls football representation. 
The girls trained very hard and were part of a large squad of girls training. There were regular matches played for all age groups, sometimes even up against older opposition. Unfortunately for the girls, the season was cut short, but still a wonderful achievement. Congratulations to our under 15 Squanty School girls, Cameron Doxey, Evie Bennett, Mia Pritchard, Olivia Ketwhite and Rachel John. Our under 13s representatives were Ella Greenway, Florence Tarrant, Mackenzie Beard and Millie Jenkins, who was also team captain. Well done to our under 12s Swansea School Girls representatives, Esther Acker and Rebecca Saunders, who were also winners of the inaugural Rontherkin and Taft Schools Football Association Under 12s Girls Invitational Shield. I'm delighted to present the next award for gymnastics. I always have great admiration for the hours of training that this sport requires. I'm also always very excited to see the final performances. These two young ladies have exceptional talents, which I believe we only see a fraction of their true ability in school. Ella Greenway has represented the West Wales Junior Squad and Rebecca Saunders, the West Wales Intermediate Squad. By placing in the regional competition, Rebecca represented West Wales in the Welsh finals. Her team achieved gold and she finished a very proud fourth position on the floor. Congratulations, Ella and Rebecca. I am very excited to watch the development of our next three Hockey Award winners, all of which show exceptional talent and potential. Alfie Geach has started his journey on the performance pathway by successfully representing the under-13 Welsh Dragons. His commitment and dedication has been rewarded by a recent call-up to the under-16 Welsh Hockey Squad. I am really looking forward to seeing Alfie in a Welsh shirt when international hockey resumes. Mackenzie Beards also has a very bright future ahead of her. Representing the Dragons a year young, together with her sister Lenny, who captained the team, they played in the regional championships in Nottingham. This team then formed the basis of the South Wales regional squad who were undefeated in the English league, playing against teams such as Bath Bucks and Clifton College. From her performances with the Dragons, Lenny Beards was also selected for the UK Lions, who played across the UK, Ireland and Spain. In Spain, not only was she selected to captain the team, but she was awarded player of the tournament. Lenny has recently been rewarded with selection to the under-16 Welsh hockey squad and she currently trains with Swansea City ladies who play in Division 1 England and I'm glad to say that she certainly doesn't look out of place. Alfie, Lenny and Mackenzie, congratulations on your achievements and I look forward to following your international careers. We are extremely fortunate in Bishopston to have strength and depth in hockey with eight girls selected to represent the under-14 Avanel Tawi County Hockey Squad. Once again, I was very proud to watch the girls compete in the regional tournament with some ex excellent individual and team performances. Congratulations on your under-14 County Hockey representation, Alana Clark, Eden Peak, Flo Tarrant, Gracie Davis, Lauren Peak, Mia Pritchard, Olivia Ketwhite and Scarlett Lewis. With eight county players, you can imagine how excited I was about our under 14 school team. A group of young ladies with an excellent training ethic and team spirit. Winning league matches with netball scores 5-0, 7-0, they very quickly became the undisputed and undefeated county champions. They began to focus on the next challenge, that of becoming the Welsh champions. Having played a number of outer county friendlies at the start of the season, we felt we were definitely in with a chance. However, the tournament was cancelled last minute due to COVID restrictions. Girls, we are already planning for next year, so get yourselves ready. Congratulations on being county hockey champions. Alana Clark, Amy Bynan, Daisy Anderson, Lenny Beard, Evie Bennett, Flo Tarrant, Lauren Peake, Mabel Hill, Maisie Harvey, Mackenzie Beard, Mia Pritchard, Millie Jenkins, Olivia Ketwhite, Phoebe Pelusi, and Scarlett Lewis. Congratulations of our super successful under 16 hockey team. Throughout their time at Bishopston, they've been unbeaten in any school match within Avonair Tawi. They've been county champions at both under 14 and under 16 level and have won matches against many local under 18 college teams. Fantastic achievements. But every year, the girls set their sights far higher. 
As the unbeaten under-16 county champions, we travelled once again to Welsh finals, not in Wrexham this year, but in the snow further north in Ruthyn. There, in a bitterly cold and snowy day, we played against the other top seven schools in Wales. Split into two pools, I had the pleasure of watching the girls qualify from their pool in first place, resulting in a semi-final against Corinian. Finishing nil-nil at full time, this led to a very tense penalty shootout. At this age, to take a penalty shootout with a chance of a Welsh final is a tough ask. However, I was not short of volunteers. With great team spirit and support from each other, Bishopston won 3-0. Unfortunately, two very nasty injuries sustained in the final pool game caught up with us, and we lost on the day to Glantav, who were deserved winners. This next award is for the Under-13's Welsh Judo Champion and this award goes to Zoe Wojciechowski. Zoe is a very talented and dedicated young lady. She is very passionate about Judo and all her hard work is definitely paying off as she is the current Under-13 Welsh Judo Champion. Many congratulations to Zoe Wojciechowski. It is an incredible achievement for any pupil to represent their county. The Avenith Tawi County area includes all 26 secondary schools in Swansea, Neath and Portalbert. Netball is widely played for very good standard in this area and competition to get into the county squad is fierce. Sophie did extremely well on gaining a place in the under 16 squad a year early and she worked hard all season being chosen for friendly fixtures against other counties. Sophie is an extremely talented goal attack for both our school team and the county side. She represented Avenith Tawi with pride and dedication and it was a shame the season was cut short as the girls did not have the opportunity to play in the prestigious Inter-Counties tournament. I'm sure Sophie's enthusiasm and talent in netball, we will see her represent Avenith Tawi again in the future. Well done, Sophie Bynan. This award is for under-14 Avenith Tawi County Netball representation. Similar to the under-16 Avenith Tawi County Netball squad, it is a huge achievement to be selected for the under-14 squad. Approximately 300 girls trial from all schools in the county area. Last year we had seven girls selected from Bishopston Comprehensive School. Three out of the seven were chosen a year young, which is an incredible achievement. All girls trained regularly and their commitment and hard work paid off as they were selected in various friendly matches during the season. The girls were due to compete in the Inter-Counties tournament in mid-March, just as lockdown was announced. A disappointing end to the season for all the girls, but an amazing experience just the same. Some very talented netballers in this lineup, and a special mention to Evelyn Bray on being selected for the Under-17 West Wales Talent Centre. Congratulations go to Evelyn Bray, Elenia Beard, Anna Beasley, Millie Jenkins, Mackenzie Beard, Amy Bynan and Isabel truman Herford. The next award is for the Year 7 Avenith Tawi County Netball Champions. On their very first school secondary tournament, the Year 7 netball team had the most amazing experience. On March the 5th this year, the annual Year 7 netball tournament was held in the LC2 in Swansea. All 26 secondary schools from Swansea, Neath and Portalbert attended and a very competitive tournament got underway. The Year 7 team went from strength to strength during the day with some amazing individual and team performances from all squad players. The team strived to achieve all day, beating many strong local netball schools. They made the journey to the final look very comfortable and took victory with ease. A fantastic day of netball. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can offer as they mature and move through the school. Exciting times ahead for this team. Congratulations go to Ruby Arnold, Millie Bray, Grace Richards, Olivia Stewart, Chloe Lewis, Esther Acker, Lottie Robinson, Sally Smith, Sasha Long and Sophie Mather. Under 15, Swansea School Boys Rugby representation. The following boys went through a trial period from June to September, competing against 100 other pupils throughout Swansea to compete for a space in the squad. Only 25 made the squad, which was a huge achievement. James Drew, James Toon, Sam Alcrex and Rowan Wallacott. Unfortunately, the rugby season for the Year 19 this year was cut short, um, enabling us not 
to compete in the Swansea Schools Cup. However, we did manage to win the Ospreys Plate, um, beating my stake school at Landassi. The year nine team uh, that played this game included Alfie Geach, Alfie Hughes, Kai Lloyd Hall, Ellis Morgan, Evan Morris, Frankie Lauder, George Moore, Henry Jones, Harrison Brown, Ewan Neath, Jack Smith, Kay Tilbury, Max and Holland, Matt Bosky, Max Riley, Thomas Crawley, Tristan Barry, Samuel Caminares, Samuel Williamson, Sebastian Rodriguez Davis, and Will Morgan. Additionally, the Year 8 rugby team also were unable to compete in the Swansea Schoolboys Cup. However, they also won the Ospreys Plate. Included in this team that beat Duravelin at the Knoll were Alfie Hughes, Aaron Jones, Ben Hawkins, Ben Winchester, Connor Lewis Jones, Corey Wilkins, Charlie Mayer, Charlie Stairs, Ellis Morgan, Ethan Brand, Evan Morris, Frederick Green, Gabe Davis, Jake Thomas, Joseph Stevens, Joseph James, Joshua Jones, Louis Williams, Max Davis, Morgan Burgess, Ned McWhorter, Oliver Heinrich, Sam Price, Sam Wilshire, and Zach Burns. This award is for the under-19 GB Sailing Squad and Welsh Sailing Champion and this award goes to Anya Morris. This young lady was ranked third UK girl for the 2020 World and European Laser 4.7 Youth Championships. She was selected for the RYA GB Youth Sailing Squad and was also third UK girl under 16s and first Welsh sailor at the 2020 Youth European Championships in Portugal. Many congratulations to Anya Morris. Under 14 and under 18 Welsh surfing champion and under 18 Welsh surfing representation, Jed Wood. Jed's an extremely talented surfer who spends his life on the bays around Swansea. Unfortunately, his season's been cut short this year, so he hasn't been able to compete to the level he, want, he wanted to. Hopefully, he'll be back in the water and back on the circuit and achieving big things next year. The next award is for under-15 Welsh re representation in surf life-saving. A multi-talented athlete in every respect, Alenia was selected to train and compete with the Welsh Surf Lifesaving Squad after competing in a very successful flags event at the Welsh Championships. She trains regularly with the Welsh squad at Rest Bay Surf Lifesaving Club and is looking to competing in more events when training and competitions return. Many congratulations go to Alenia Beard. Leila Savage is a very young tennis player who is going from strength to strength, forever seeing and hearing posts of her new achievements, a very just reward for the dedication, commitment and hours of training it takes to compete at this very high level. Leila is the under-18 Welsh girls doubles and mixed doubles champion. She's represented South Wales at under-18 level in the County Cup. She's qualified for the under-16 British Championships where she finished a fantastic ninth overall only losing one match. She has various regional titles and trains with the under-18 Welsh national squad. Congratulations, Leila. Our second tennis award is to another very talented and committed player, Erin Parsmore. Also on a pathway to tennis success, Erin is collecting a host of accolades and titles. In the Welsh Championships held in summer 2019, Erin became the under-12 Welsh singles champion and also runner-up in the under-14 doubles. Leila and Erin, we are very proud of you and wish you every success in your sporting careers. Under-14s, Welsh water polo representation. Hila McHugh and Ollie Hanlon and Hannah Williams. Under-14s and under-18s Welsh representation, Mally Evans and Jess Hewitt. Congratulations to all the athletes there. I know they competed well in Warsaw 
and their season was obviously cut short because they weren't allowed into the pools, but hopefully come back stronger this year and carry on the success. This award is in memory of the late Arwen Harris, former PE teacher of Bishopston, who started the Bishopston ski trip. It is awarded to a pupil who shows the most improvement in their skiing on the school ski trip to France. Uh, Jed, who has won the award this year, started off with no skiing experience at all, and at the end of the week, ended up in the very top group. Receiving the award this year for the Patricia Quick Swimming Award, uh, which is given to our most improved swimmer of year seven last year. Uh, this pupil uh, worked incredibly hard during all swimming lessons, uh, and it, this year it goes to Reuben Jenkins. Well, good evening again. It uh, obviously gives me great pleasure to, to close the evening here for our award ceremony for our current pupils. It has been a fantastic evening, uh, as we said at the start. I just wish we could see you in person, but we hope that this ceremony, which you can, you can watch at home, you can pass over to grandparents and other friends to watch as well, has perhaps helped to sort of alleviate the, the issues and concerns of us not being able to do this live. Uh, just a massive congratulations from myself and good luck and stay safe in the future.